This is Tim Gallagher of the Sioux City Journal, and I am at the historic State Theater in Holstein, Iowa, talking with Kathy Vollmer yep. and Alyssa Driesen. We are upstairs. Kathy, I was here in August of 2015 when this place was a mess. Can you give me the dime tour again yes. to show us that the theater is being saved? Right. Well, we started in the messiest spot, um, and that is because our uh, $50,000 projector will be installed in our projection room next week, and so we're preparing for that. So, um, like I said, we started in the messiest spot. Okay. All right. How long had it been closed? Yeah. 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 We bought the theater a year ago, and it had been closed two years before that. And before that, it, it just showed um, movies very sporadically. Okay. So now we come down to the... Come on. Let's go down. Come on, girls. Okay. We come down to the wonderfully painted walls and the restored ceiling mm -hmm. and the carpet. Mm -hmm. Your sister Reba always by you. We now have handicap accessible bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. The concession stand in the entry area is the same. That is what people wanted. People wanted us to keep the theater as similar to the way it used to be as we possibly could. So um, the concession stand and, and the ticket area is, is the same. Okay. But we've got lots of new sheetrock, lots of new painting. This is new. These are handicapped doors for handicap accessible seating. The wheelchairs just come in right next to the permanent seats. We have 150 new leather rocking seats. We got the ceiling painted and got a new air conditioning and heating system. The walls are carpeted for sound. Got some little girls excited to come to the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we are putting sound and lights into our cry room so that our young families in the community can still enjoy some, some time. Maybe the children. most unique feature of this theater. Yeah, I well, swear. Yeah. It's got two cry rooms. Yeah, and then the it's, it, windows in the, in the doors are pretty cool, yeah. Recently discovered that this theater is 89 years old. Next year will be our 90th mm -hmm. birthday. So we've come a long way. Okay. We, we actually bought it last April. So we've been at it a while. I was hoping it wouldn't take this long, but um, they told us it would, and it has. Give me an example of the types of fundraisers that you've had. Oh, we've had breakfast. We did that on Mother's Day, didn't we? We, did. we mm -hmm. made a lot of money off that. The, the local kids in the community have been having lemonade stands since last April. I was in here yes last night vacuuming, and Alyssa was upstairs painting, and um, a high school girl brought me in an envelope of $120 that her and her friends had collected over the last year from lemonade stands. Um, that's the sort of thing. We probably collected a lot of money from the local kids from Lemonade Stands. Yeah. Last summer the kids were selling sweet corn and um, we sold <laughs> allowances. Yeah. We yeah. sold the popcorn buckets. Um, somebody was having a family thing last weekend and they had me pop two garbage bags full of popcorn and they gave me a check for $350. Okay. So that worked well. And initially, you had intended to raise $100,000. That was you, our goal. You yeah. met that goal yes, yes, and yes. surpassed it enough yes. to get what you need to get the theater up and going. Right. When the projector... Yeah, we sold, we sold seats, $350 for seats. Okay. We put people's names on the back of them. I think we sold about half of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. a little trivia nights. Oh, yeah, movie trivia yeah. nights. Uh -huh. This is like a game night where we did movie trivia and we got popcorn and have fun. Uh -huh. and just kind of a okay, and Alyssa, you'll be managing mm -hmm. 
What would be a target date? Best case scenario. Open for customers? Yeah. By Halloween? I don't, yeah, I don't know. This I'm fall? Well, people have been asking us for months when we're going to open, uh -huh. and we just keep telling them when everybody gets their jobs done, <laughs> we can open. But, <laughs> okay. but realistically, I would think in a couple weeks. Okay. You know, the, pro yeah, the projector yeah. arrives if next that week? Last little, we get over that last little hump of getting the projector in and stuff, then we can play movies. It's just a matter of having the rest of our stuff together. <laughs> when is that month? Is it this month or not? I mean, is it October? Macarima, our, our women's club is going to huh. right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. We can show a movie in here regardless, but it's whether or not with our good projector. Okay. So, sometime this fall. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. 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 So, the historic, you've, you've saved it. We, you yeah. can change it to <laughs> Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. We can have our lives yeah. back again. <laughs> <laughs>